happiness and unhappiness are in the heart and spirit of each one of us. If you feel unhappy, then place yourself above that and act so that your happiness does not get to be dependent on anything. If Russians knew how to read, they would write me off. I sincerely want peace, not because I lack resources for war, but because I hate bloodshed. You can be a murderous tyrant, and the world will remember you fondly, but fuck one horse and you will be a horse fucker for all of the eternity. It is better to inspire a reform than to enforce it. The trouble is that my heart is loath to be without love even for a single hour. If you want to keep me forever, then show as much friendship as love and more than anything else love me and tell me the truth. I felt little more than indifference towards him, though I was not indifferent to the Russian crown. Nothing great is ever achieved without much enduring. In my position, you have to read when you want to write and talk when you would like to read. You should know our mania for building is stronger than ever. It is a diabolical thing. It consumes money and the more you build, the more you want to build. It's a sickness, like being addicted to alcohol. One doesn't always do the best there is. One does the best one can. Power without a nation's confidence is nothing. A great wind is blowing, and that gives you either imagination or a headache. You philosophers are lucky men. You write on paper, and paper is patient. Unfortunate empress that I am, I write on susceptible skins of living beings. I praise loudly, I blame softly. I may be kind, I'm ordinarily gentle, but in my line of business I'm obliged to will terribly what I will at all. Nothing is more difficult, in my opinion, than to avoid something that fundamentally attracts you. I'm one of the people who love the why of things. The more a man knows, the more he forgives. I shall be an autocrat, that's my trade. And the good Lord will forgive me, that's his. I cannot live one day without love. I like to praise and reward loudly and to blame softly. Don't worry about things you cannot alter. I beg you take courage. The brave soul can mend even disaster. You were in the mood to quarrel. Please inform me once the inclination passes. Experience shows that the frequent use of severe punishment has never rendered a people better. The death of a criminal is a less effective means of restraining crimes than the permanent example of a man deprived of his liberty during the whole of his life
to make amends for the injury he has done to the public. The title of Queen rang sweet to my ears. Child thought I was. This idea of a crown began running in my head then like a tune, and has been running a lot in it ever since. Any man who does not partake in cigar smoking is nothing more than a weak-willed, meandering oaf, and I would never put my lips to those of any creature, man or beast, whose lips were not fresh awash in the currents of cigar smoke. The most sure, but at the same time the most difficult expedient to mend morals of the people is a perfect system of education. If I may venture to be frank, I would say about myself that I was every inch of a gentleman. In politics, a capable ruler must be guided by circumstances, conjectures and conjunctions. One doesn't always do the best there is, one does the best one can. A man ought to form in his own mind an exact and clear idea of what liberty is. Liberty is the right of doing whatsoever the laws allow. And if any one citizen could do what the laws forbid, then there would be no more liberty, because others would have an equal power of doing the same. Very early it was noticed that I had a good memory, therefore I was insistently tormented with learning everything by heart. Tell a thousand people to draft a letter. Let them debate every phrase and see how long it takes and what you get. Men make love more intensely at 20 but make love better, however, at 30. It is better to be subject to the laws under one master than to be subservient to many. Equality requires institutions so well adapted as to prevent the rich from oppressing those who are not so wealthy as themselves. From the age of 10, Peter III was partial to drink. What right, therefore, can power give to any to inflict punishment upon a citizen at a time when it's yet dubious whether he is innocent or guilty? This princess seems to combine every kind of ambition in her person. Everything that may add luster to her reign will have some attraction for her. The love of power and the power to attract love were not easy to reconcile. This marriage had resulted from impulse. He had seen her on a high-flying swing at Tsarske Selo, and her skirt, flared by the breeze, had exposed her ankles. He had proposed the following day. All this is only for the mice and myself to admire. For to tempt and to be tempted are things very nearly allied. When never feeling has anything to do in the matter, no sooner is it excited than we have already gone vastly farther than we are aware of. Your wit makes others witty. All 
punishments by which the human body might be maimed, a barbarism.